In computer graphics, planar is the method of representing pixel colors with several bit planes of RAM. Each bit in a bit plane is related to one pixel on the screen. Unlike chunky, high color, or true color graphics, the whole dataset for an individual pixel isn't in one specific location in RAM, but spread across the bit planes that make up the display. This scheme originated in the early days of computer graphics. The memory chips of this era can not supply data fast enough on their own to generate a picture on a TV screen or monitor from a large frame buffer. By splitting the data up into multiple planes, each plane can be stored on a separate memory chip. These chips can then be read in parallel at a slower rate, allowing graphical display on modest hardware. The EGA video adapter on early IBM PC computers uses planar arrangement in color graphical modes for this reason. The later VGA includes one non-planar mode which sacrifices memory efficiency for more convenient access. For example, on a chunky display, each byte represents one pixel. Three pixels in a row are stored as follows, where up to 256 different colors are available. Whereas a planar data store could use two bit planes, providing for a four color display, adding a third plane makes 23 equals eight colors available. Where fewer than 256 colors are needed, planar graphics are more economical in RAM compared with 8 bit chunky graphics, as there are no unused bits in a given byte. A disadvantage of planar graphics is that more RAM address cycles are needed for scrolling and animations, although these operations can be made faster by dedicated hardware such as the Blitter chips used in Amiga and some later Atari Street computers. Topic. See also Packed pixel